To begin our annotations tutorial, we'll open up the text and dimensions tool sets. A variety of tools are provided to add text to the drawing. Horizontal text, text along a curve, text at an angle, and text within a box. The basic horizontal text is a single line of text. Pressing Enter will start another line of text. The Box Text tool allows you to define an area and then as you type text it will fill that area within the box. This box text allows you to create a multi-line piece of text that's seen as a single item. It also allows you to justify the text within the box. This is very useful when putting text in a title block and wanting to center it within a rectangle. Now using the horizontal text tool, we'll add a label to our drawing. Remember, the text will be placed at whatever the current text settings are. And we'll position the note. To change the default settings, make sure that nothing is selected. The text tool must be active or everything on the text menu will be grayed out. But once the text tool is active, your default settings can be changed. And now to measure the drawing, we'll go to the Verify menu. This allows you to actually do measurements without doing dimensions. The Distance Point to Point tool allows you to pick two points anywhere in the drawing and it measures the distance between them and then gives a delta between the two points. The delta is the relative distance between the x-coordinate, y-coordinate, or z-coordinates between the two points picked. In this case they're the same, but when I pick two points at an angle, first point to second point, the distance will show one value. The dx and dy show the change in the x-coordinate and change in y-coordinate between those two points. Now we'll select this circle, go to the Verify menu, and now you'll see other items available. We can calculate the area of that circle. You can even calculate or display the length around that circle. Other things like volume, interference, these things are available for use in 3D measuring. In some cases, you'll need to document these measurements. And for those situations, there's a full set of dimension tools available. A variety of standard dimension layouts are available. Select the dimension tool. Notice that dim text is now available. We'll choose a size and pick 24. We've selected the smart dimension tool. This tool will do dimensions off a variety of different kinds of geometry, whether it be horizontal or vertical. In this case what we're doing is we're placing a dimension and adjusting the text height to get it just right. Notice the different places that this Smart Dimension Tool will add dimensions. The Smart Dimension Tool is very versatile. In fact, if you press the Shift key and hold it, pick two lines and it will create an angular dimension as well. Next, we'll go back to the Dimension Toolset and choose the Horizontal Dimension. There's a Subtool Palette of Dimension Styles. A Single Dimension, Chain, and Baseline. The Chain Dimension will pick two points, it places the dimension, and then now will dimension between the next points and create a chain of dimensions from point to point. Go back to our dimensions. In this case we'll choose the baseline dimension style. Now in this case, 
pick two points to define the first dimension, and then subsequent points picked will be dimensioned from that first point. However, we'll delete these and we'll change the formatting just a little bit. We'll go to our Standards Manager. The next offset controls the offset or distance between those dimensions placed in baseline. We'll just change that. Click Save As and let's create our own little layout called My Dimens. And don't forget to select that from the standards layout, My Dimens. Now, we'll place the first horizontal dimension point to point. And now we'll go to the next point and you'll see the dimensions are placed from that first point. We'll go back to our dimension tool set or tool palette and choose the radial dimension. Again, there's a sub-tool palette, different styles of radial dimensions. And we'll choose this diameter dimension. They will automatically place a dimension of the diameter outside the circle or arc. Now we'll go back to our dimension tool palette. and we'll select the center mark dimension. Place one by clicking on the circle. The overlap will change to a quarter of an inch. That's the amount of the mark that's outside of the circle or overlapping the circle. And just place the rest. You can also dimension along a curve. And here we'll put in a balloon dimension. You'll see a whole palette of options. We'll choose the last one which allows us to place a string of text. And for the text, we'll enter Drill Close to Tolerance. These labels can be used as leaders or callouts to specific parts of the drawing, but they can also be used to reference other sheets in an entire set of drafting documents.